Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube from www.bpfs-online.com That's Bravo, Papa, Foxtrot, Sierra-online.com In this video I want to look at company, supplier and customer dashboards and just to show you how to bring those dashboards up they're quite hidden but they show a lot of useful information especially quick information that to show a director um, or anyone over you or if you own the company it brings some quick information to your fingertips and gives you a good overview of the company or business you're working for or own so if we click company the nominal ledger should appear this is the company module at the top right hand corner there's the change view drop down list let's open that and click company dashboard you'll then have this screen appear at the top left here you have trading headlines um, in my box it tells me what my top selling product is um, and how many units I've sold of that in this financial year the more data you put into Sage the more will be in this trading headlines box but it's very good um, all these boxes are really good um, but just like any report on Sage the more information that's put in the more report or information you'll get back and also the more accurate the data is that you put in the more accurate the report and information you'll get back hopefully that makes sense so you have trading headlines up here in the top right box you have financial headlines so it tells me what my sales are to date what my gross profit is to date what my net profit is to date and when I say to date, to date in the current financial year it shows how much is owed to me or the company or business by debtors and how much I owe to creditors the bottom left here you have a bank balance list and then you have a company overview at the bottom right which shows you how much has been booked to sales, purchases, overheads, capital reserves, etc. So that's that screen. And um, if we click X on that, we we'll go to suppliers now. Once again, go to change view at the top right. Click on supplier dashboard. And you have this screen appear. So you have supplier cash overview at this top left. It's displayed as a pie chart. If you click on the corresponding color, it will tell you what that segment of pie is made up of. So it'll give you further, further details here. You can make the screen bigger, like so. And once again, you have a bar graph here which shows age creditors. Um, so money due and what period that comes under and if you click on that it will give you a breakdown like so if you click back to a view chart you'll go back to those screens once again mine are quite blank there's only a little bit of data on this demo account when you're up to date with Sage and put everything on these graphs will be a lot better than what's showing and then you have today's diaries events if you use the diary function on Sage Let's go to the customers now, which is very similar to the suppliers. Click on change view, company dashboard. We have a customer cash overview this time. Once again, you can click on the pie chart or the pie segment to get a breakdown of what the segment relates to and on the age debt, like so. And then today's diary events. If you'll use the diary on Sage, and perhaps I'll do a video sometime in the future about the diary module or function on Sage if you didn't know how to use that. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube.